Hey everyone, my name is Jason Yavorska and I'm the product director for CICD here at GitLab. And I'm gonna to record today a little, um, what we call a speed run, which is um, kind of an unscripted demo uh, or experience trying to use something of using Publi, which is a kind of unique CMS um, that can be used with static sites uh, along with GitLab. So uh, I'll be following the uh, instructions from Publi for the most part. I don't think there's actually too much to do in on the GitLab side. It looks like they have a nice integration, uh, but I just want to see how everything works and um, and try and put it together. So uh, I'll start by sharing my screen here. Um, share my desktop. Yep. Okay. Hopefully you can see see everything now. Um, so I've got a couple tabs open. Um, this is the public documentation, which I did uh, read through. Um, I've got a new projects section here uh, for GitLab. Uh, and then just the public homepage. I have a terminal as well in case I need it. Although I honestly think from reading the documentation that it's not, not going to be necessary. Um, but yeah. Oh, and I've also installed the public application here. Um, so I should explain a little bit about what Publi is to start. Um, it's a unique CMS where um, you don't deploy the CMS uh, along with your website or it doesn't manage the website like an engine or you don't use it as a third party thing that's hosted on a website somewhere. Uh, you actually install it to your computer uh, and it keeps all its files locally uh, and then it can generate a static site and deploy that to any number of providers. So um, to start, we'll just uh, make a uh, my fine website uh, and then the author is me. Uh, and then we get to pick a color. Uh, I always pick dark colors. And then how about a rocket? That's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so the files are stored locally and it deploys them uh, at runtime. There's, um, you can configure where you want those files stored, uh, I read in the, uh, the instructions. So um, by default, it actually doesn't keep them in source control, I don't, or at least as far as I know. And that's kind of the caveat for all of this stuff is um, I'm just using Publi for the first time. Uh, so um, there's there may be things that I miss, but I'm I'm doing my best here based on the docs that I read. Um, so it actually doesn't keep those files in source control. Um, it's the way it's going to work is it's going to publish GitLab pages, uh, which will be in source control, but not actually the thing itself. Um, but you could uh, you can somewhere here in the configuration. I'm I'm not sure uh, where off the top of my head. We can go check it in the docs in a second um, where these files are stored, and then you can make that a Git repo and then publish that uh, to, to GitLab as well, so that all of your, all of your stuff is backed up. Um, but it would be cool if there was a, like a VCS integration for the uh, configuration side of things as well. Uh, maybe it's here, configure server, no? Um, okay, uh, well, let's go back to the documentation. Uh, so I've already done the installation, as I mentioned. Um, we just started creating a website. Uh, updating was what? Um, no, okay, that's, uh, that's just how you do a regular update. Uh, maybe we can pick a theme, but um, let's um, let's actually just start by previewing whatever comes by default. I'm curious. Okay, I see it open a new tab there called My Fun Website with me as an author. Doesn't go anywhere. Well, it looks like a little basic, basic kind of thing. So um, let's try a theme though. Okay, it looks like you can select one here. Um, Get back into Publi and let's go to, I guess it would be that theme. Yeah, makes sense. This doesn't seem to match what I saw on the website here. Um, but I am kind of scanning through. Maybe, oh, this was in the new settings, site settings. Ah, uh, here it is, yeah. Oh, it looks like we've only got one theme for the moment. Um, well, let's not play with that. Uh, my goal isn't necessarily to, to demo Publi because I, I wouldn't do a very good job since I don't know it very well. Um, but let's, um, let's take a look at the instructions and see how we can get the server configuration working. Um, so GitLab pages. Um, I need to generate an access token uh, and then add that um, the access token will allow public to connect. We need a repository to deploy to. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and get an access token added to Publi by following these first instructions. I apologize, you'll just have to see me for a moment. Um, 
But this should just take a second. I can use it as an opportunity to drink a little bit of coffee. Okay, settings. Uh, I'll walk you through what I'm doing here, even though you can't see it. Um, so I'm going to the settings page on GitLab, and then I have, um, I think it's under, oh no, it's under access tokens. Uh, and I can generate an access token, we'll call it Publi. Uh, I'll set it to expire tomorrow. Um, and I'll just give it full access for now since I'm going to delete it anyway. I'm sure that there's like a more restrictive set of permissions that you can give it. All right, I've got my token here. So I'm going to go back and check the public docs. Um, oh yeah, so it, it only needs the API setting, which is fine. Um, copy to the clipboard. All right. And now I need to create a new repository in GitLab. Uh, I'm going to share my screen again because I actually don't, uh, it doesn't look like I use that token for the moment. All right. Um, new project. Um, Public. Yeah, I think you actually don't need to set your project to public for GitLab pages to work. Um, so I think that this part of the documentation might be incorrect. All right. Um, so then, uh, yeah, uh, I'll just call this my public. Uh, what did I call it? my fun website? Yeah, my fun website. Um, we'll make it public is because it says to. Uh, but again, I, I I really don't think that that's necessary. Okay, I have an empty repository here. Um, GitLab uses pipelines, you'll use special, special file. Okay, click on the create project button. All right, looks like we need to add the GitLab CI YAML, um, which is fine. Um, Where's the web IDE button uh, when, when you're here? Oh, let's just do it this way. Okay, new file. Um, CI.yaml. And we'll just paste in, uh, paste in this. So add CI.yaml is fine. Um, this will run a, well, adding this will run a, a pipeline, but um, obviously the, it, it won't really do anything. Um, now let's go in back to the docs. Um, once code has been entered, commit changes, we're now ready to sync publicly. Um, let's go into publi, it looks like. Um, configure server, GitLab. Uh, this would be relative URLs because it's going to be jaborska.gitlab.io slash um, my fun website. Um, get that pages server. Uh, that must be talking about the server, the GitLab server, the GitLab instance, uh, rather than you know, like that you might enter GitLab.io here. Um, the repository is um, my fun website. The branch is um, master, and then the token is the one. Uh, I don't know if I copy. Okay, let's test our connection. Cool. Save our settings. Um, yeah, let's let's try it out. I'm curious what it's gonna put in there. <laughs> um, my public GI took okay. All right, the website is in sync. Let's see what it actually, I'm curious what it actually did in the repo. I mean, it probably just put some flat files in there, but right, it did. Okay, so there's a public files JSON, which I'm kind of curious what it contains. Hmm. It just looks like a little bit of special configuration for 404s and things like that. I wonder why skip CI was set here. That's a bit odd, although um, maybe I just don't know what they're doing. Um, 
Okay. Uh, let's um, see if CI CD ran. Ah, it did. So, okay. So it made several changes in a row, uh, which uh, were skip CI, but then I see it. So it looks like it did it in a merge request is what happened. And then so it merged that into master uh, once it was done making the series of changes that it needs to make. It's kind of cool. Um, and then so we should see, um, yeah, the, the same site here soon, if not yet. Uh, my fine website. Magic. The relative URLs works and everything. OK, well, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there's, uh, and then so what Publi gives you when you, when, once you've done all this stuff is that it's, um, you know, a much easier experience for editing. Um, you can add posts. Uh, we can just add a hello. Um, open source is awesome. Okay, so we've done that and say it's, let's say it's really true. Um, save and close that. Uh, and as you saw, we had all those nice um, WYSIWYG editing things. And let's see if we sync this website. Uh, I probably could have previewed locally, but living on the edge, why not? <laughs> it felt pretty safe what we did. Uh oh, an error occurred connecting a file with this name already exists. Um, it says here that it would be overwritten, but um, well, let's uh, let's cancel that. Let's preview our changes locally and see what we get. And make sure that that blog post is there. Um, it's not. <laughs> Uh, it's possible that uh, I've got my script working on. No, doesn't look like no script is doing anything here. Um, okay. Aha, okay. I just needed to wait a second or reload. Um, it was down here under full. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. Why it um, <laughs> why it wasn't showing it? Uh, it looked like there was some script missing or something like that. It is here now. Uh, maybe I was looking in the wrong place. Um, let's um, go back into Publi. Um, it says prepared to upload now. Let's try syncing again. Maybe it was we needed a preview first. No, I don't know why. I don't know why it's getting stuck there. Uh, and um, yeah, maybe we can look on the GitLab side and see if we can figure out what's happening. Hmm. It doesn't it just doesn't seem to have done anything? Um, but uh, an error occurred connecting to the server. Well, I don't, like I said, I don't know what happened there, um, but uh, I'm sure it's just a glitch or possibly something that when I watch this video again, I'll see exactly what I did wrong. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, super, super cool to have a easy to use editor like this. Uh, we did get it deployed. I mean, uh, if the um, uh, if the deploy had worked, uh, then I'm sure we'd have seen that same content there. There's a bunch of cool themes and things like that that you can add. So. Um, this is a nice way, nice way to use GitLab pages if some of the other templates are, are too complicated for you. And uh, hopefully this was interesting for you. Uh, it was cool to play with this a little bit and, and share my experience. Thanks.